After 31 years and 29 major trophies, Silvio Berlusconi is no longer the owner of AC Milan. This is something historical in world football. After months and months of negotiations, the deal for the selling of AC Milan to Chinese broker Yong Hong Li and his group of investors has finally gone through and has become official. AC Milan has gone from being owned by Fininvest, Berlusconi's group, to Rossoneri Sport Investment Lust. After months of uncertainty, the last 370 million needed for the final acquisition have gone to Fininvest today. Yong Hong Lee is a broker with a clear financial interest in the club, working on AC Milan's popularity and fame worldwide to try and make money out of it. And has behind him a group of primarily Chinese investors ready to help him financially and grow with the club. The final 370 million euros are so divided. 190 million euros from Yong Hong Lee's personal reserve, 180 million euros from American fund Elliott, loaning the share at an impressive 11% interest rate. The total sum for the deal is 740 million euros, 220 of which to cover AC Milan's debt. So what happens next? Well, almost certainly Vincenzo Montella is to remain on the AC Milan bench. If anything, he had some problems with Silvio Berlusconi, who is clearly on his way out. He's done a great job this season and he already knows the atmosphere for the Rossoneri. Now, the real mystery is what AC Milan will be able to do on the transfer window. As we have seen, a lot of cash has gone to Berlusconi, but it's uncertain how much will actually be invested in the club from now on. To have a positive financial operation with a football club, results will likely be needed. So the new owners will have to program and invest accordingly. The first step is Gigio Donnarumma's renewal. Pretty much everyone in Europe would like him in goal. But having just turned 18, he is to sign a new contract with AC Milan. And the Rossoneri will have to keep him. After Donnarumma's renewal, the next step will be bringing in some big names. We've read about Benzema or Aubameyang for the attack. Holding on to Deolo Fer, who's doing greatly until now. And probably the selling of Carlos Baca. But the truth is, there is one big question mark for the future.